There aren't a lot of emergencies that trigger the same amount of panic as getting something painful in your eyes. It's when you're blinded and in a hurry to find relief that eye wash stations need to be available and ready to use. With that in mind, here's your quick guide on how to inspect your facility's eye wash station to make sure that they're ready when you need them. There are four major types of eye wash stations, plumbed eye wash stations, self-contained eye wash stations, personal eye wash units, and drench hose eye wash stations. This video will focus on self-contained eye wash stations. Before we dive in, I'd like to thank the sponsor of this video, Thompson Safety. Thompson Safety is one of the fastest growing full service safety companies in North America, supplying on-site first aid, fire protection, AED, eye wash, and safety services. Check them out at thompson-safety.com. Here's what to check on your self-contained eye wash station. Step one, make sure that the station is visible and accessible with proper signage and clear instructions for use. The last thing you need in an emergency is to move a pallet out of the way before you can get corrosives out of your eyes. Check the exterior. Examine the overall condition of the eye wash station, looking for any signs of damage, leaks, or corrosion. Keep it clean and dust-free to make sure it's ready to use if you need it. Step three, check the water. This particular station is filled with water. Some are filled with solutions. Solutions can actually expire, so if you have a solution, you wanna check the expiration date. Visually check self-contained units weekly to determine if flushing fluid or water needs to be changed or added to. For water, you wanna make sure that it's to the main fill line, and then you also wanna make sure that there are no contaminants in the water. Next, test the operation. With most self-contained eye wash stations, they aren't set up to be activated without draining the fluid. But if your model allows you to check it, activate the eye wash station. Observe the water flow. It should be steady and strong with both eye wash nozzles functioning properly. If your model doesn't allow it to be checked, just make sure the water or solution is full, clear and the right temperature. The water should be tepid, not too hot or too cold a temperature you'd actually be okay flushing your eyes with. Step five, inspect the nozzles. This particular unit will activate if we look at the nozzles. So if you can activate in your situation, check the nozzles for cleanliness and proper function. The nozzle should be covered when not in use to prevent contamination. Clean the nozzles if necessary. If you find any issues you can correct yourself, go ahead and correct them. If you can't, let your supervisor know of any issues. Step six, once all issues are resolved, document the inspection on the unit's inspection tag. If there's any maintenance needed, follow the manufacturer's recommendations for maintenance, including cleaning, refilling, and replacing parts as needed. We don't want eye wash stations to fail when needed most, and weekly inspections are a quick way of making sure that they don't. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit that like button. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please hit that subscribe button. As always, thanks for watching, take care, and stay safe. Hi, Rachel from Ally Safety here. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out the Ally Safety Toolbox Talk membership at allysafety.com. There you'll find an entire library of videos that are created to make safety entertaining. I'll see you there at allysafety.com.